Power tools use many ball bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a ball bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or a squealing sound. Replacing a ball bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the base and then the top housing. Now remove the motor brushes. And I'll remove the collet nut and collet. Now I'll separate the two halves of the motor housing and remove the armature. I'll need to disconnect the LED light wire. With the armature removed, now I can remove the bearing. I'll use a bearing puller. Now I can install the new bearing. I'll thread the collet nut on the end of the shaft so I don't damage the threads. Then I'll place the armature on a flat surface, such as the anvil on the vise. I'll place the new bearing onto the armature shaft, and then I'll place a socket on the inner bearing race to tap it into place. As you reinstall the armature, you'll quickly realize you're faced with quite the conundrum. The wavy washer needs to go into the base of the plastic housing. The problem is when you try to install the washer, it's pulled away by the field magnets, so I'll need to remove the field. The field is secured with two Phillips screws. I'll place the armature through the field, install the wavy washer, and now I can reinstall the armature. And I'll re-secure the field with the screws. And now I can reinstall the lower housing. I'll reinstall the depth adjustment wheel and then align the housing and install it. You want to make sure that you keep the LED wire out of the way so it doesn't get pinched. Now reconnect the LED wire and tuck all of the wires out of the way. Next I'll reinstall the brushes. and the collet. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the motor cover and the base. And that's all it takes to install a new ball bearing 
in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.